And the Mustang, we got it in paint, in clear. We use scale finishes. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. How y'all doing? So I had a quick video done, progress on the Mustang, but it was taking forever to load, so I just went and deleted it, do a, do a new one, but wanted to show finish. We got our uh, scale finishes, Carmine, uh, Porsche Carmine Red, and then we went with <clears throat> scale finishes, Honey Gloss Clear. Stuff worked good. So you can see here how minimal, that's about, I think it was three to four coats on here. Uh, again, that, that's, you guys hear me talk, we normally use our touch-up guns, full-size compressor and everything. Love it, that's my preferred way of painting. That's probably how I do a lot of my stuff. But using the airbrush and the scale finishes, I mean, again, you can, see the minimal amount of material that was used and I've been using my touch-up gun probably would have used this whole container and because of the fan the amount that goes out the material this would have looked just as good but this would be gone so again it's another option for me I enjoy uh, you know using my touch-up gun but i'm also adjusting to using the airbrush specifically i'm gonna start using on some interior chassis parts things like that but we'll do some spray outs on these as well uh great great stuff available to use in the airbrush from scale finishes this is the 500 gloss i believe that's just kind of a step up from the honey and then uh jameson offers a 2k which i'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the honey I thought would be a good fit for this being a, kind of a track car type of build. Again, here's, here's what we got. That's what it'll all sit on. So clear, that would be a good choice in the clear and I've been wanting to spray it. Great stuff and Jameson has some great stuff there. So definitely check him out over at Scale Finishes. You can use code left coast 10 to get your 10% off your order and just great stuff. I'm going to, I'll be going out of town here for a couple of days. Then we'll get back, do a little color sounding on this and we'll wrap up the Mustang. So check out the following clips. I'm going to show you some videos from when we're painting and clearing this, uh, check it out. And again, thank you guys for the subs comments like shares uh, appreciate the interaction it's been a lot of fun join the community being part of it glad you guys are enjoying the channel so enjoy the next clips and we'll catch you guys later we're gonna go ahead and use our uh grex today spray with this guy see how it goes again i'm more used to my touch-up guns and stuff but using the scale finishes tropical glitz paints things like that it would definitely blow through it quick using the touch-up gun. All right, so one thing we're gonna do real quick here is just take our tack rag, blow this off, wipe it off, blowing off normally with our touch-up guns, you have more pressure in the airbrush, so I'll take and blow some air over to get anything off. But tack, tacking these off is always a good idea. Just simple tack tack rag you know help make sure you got anything that blew on it off there all right so we're all good there let's uh go start blowing some color on this
right, so here's what we got. I didn't get the last coat or two. But this has got quite a few coats. Again, for me, shooting with the airbrush is a bit of an adjustment. I'm used to spraying with the regular touch-up gun, which is covers a lot quicker. But again, I, you know, the red's not bad. It looks pretty nice. It's automotive paint. It's just coming from that airbrush. So you can see what we got. Pretty clean. A couple little, little things I might nib out real quick and get a little more color in. Then we're going to make sure the hood matches up. And we'll get ready to put our decals down. So again, that's what we've got so far. All right. So here's what we've got. Again, this is our scale finishes carmine red laid down pretty nice shot through the grex so i'm gonna let this base sit here kind of cure up a little figure out if we're gonna do some of the decals or not before we go with one of the clears here so so far so good as you can see there all right be back in a few All right, let's go over here in the light. All right, so you can see this first coat of clear. All we're really doing is just getting coverage down, getting it nice and tacky. Uh, with my normal gun, I would say about three coats. With the airbrush, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I've never sprayed this clear either. So we'll kind of see how it goes. But the first coat, all you're trying to do is just lay something down to get it nice and tacky for your next two to three coats to really stick and hopefully not create no runs. Heavy spots don't fill in anything. So that's kind of what we're aiming for here. So we're gonna let this tack up for about five minutes and then come back and shoot our second coat a little wetter. Kind of see here we're not in the brightest area, but Pretty good. We're going to let that tack up now. And hopefully it'll only take about three coats. We'll be good. Something on the hinge. All right, let's get that second coat of clear on the body now.
All right, let's go over here, see what we got. So you can see the difference here after the second coat. Looking pretty good. Uh, for me, again, definitely a lot different shooting clear from an airbrush versus a touch-up gun. Touch-up gun I'm a lot more familiar with. It goes a lot quicker, but we'll see. This is uh, definitely you know, fun to not have to use so much material. Save a little, so we'll see how this all comes out. Let's go let that sit and see what that does. All right, here we are with the body, coming back for our third coat. Definitely a lot different than spraying with the touch-up gun, but it is looking good. Let's go over here in the light and see what we got. All right, so here we go after our third coat. You can definitely see the shine. It is looking good. It's going to be a good-looking Mustang here when we're done. All right, I'm gonna let this sit probably about five, 10 minutes and see if we're gonna need a fourth coat or not. All right, so we're going to put a fourth coat and hopefully that'll be it.
I can't really see over here, but I'll go put that in the sun. All right, so again, here's our body. Uh, let's go ahead and get one more coat of clear on this, and hopefully we'll call it good. Let it sit for a couple of days and then do some rubbing. go uh, take a look at this. I don't think I'm going to pay more clear. That's on there. Pretty good, I would say. Let me go set this down. We'll take a look. All right, here you can see, definitely nice and glossy. We should have plenty on to do a little rubbing. I'm gonna kind of we'll let this sit for a couple days, see how it lays out, see how it dries, and then figure out how much rubbing we're gonna have to do from there. But you can see. Definitely great stuff from Scale Finishes. Beautiful red, beautiful clear. All right, now I'm gonna go over there, clean up the airbrush.